A very warm welcome back. Dateline Friday the 16th of April. Neil Maurice, the Handicap King here. And today connecting with you with my three juicy bets, which in the combined each way, Trixie, if all of those go in, well, it's a juicy 450 to 1 payday for us all. Let's hope that that can be achieved. And if it is, it'll can. Buying two jumpers heading for the first day of the Scottish National Meeting up at Ayr and a horse going to the West Country that did us a favour the other day running at Bath. Now, first and foremost, let's look at bet number one in the 350 at Ayr. This handicap is a race in which I think horse number two, Torigni, I think that's the way that you pronounce this horse, trained not far away from me between Wantage and Lambourne by Harry Whittington. Now, Torigni... I've had a bulletin through from Harry. It will enjoy this faster ground. In fact, this is something it's been waiting for in a very quiet campaign where he's been selective in the places that he's run this horse. But it has run into the money a couple of times. And I think with a bit of improvement under the bonnet, I think that's sure to happen given the better ground at the price eight to one with William Hill. I think that's pretty juicy about Torigny. He is the first leg of today's Jumbo Each Way Trixie. The next horse runs in the 427 up in Scotland. And this horse, um, number nine, always resolute, hails from an Ian Williams stable whose horses are running particularly well. Interestingly, William Hill are going four places in this race and uh, 11 to two looks more than fair about always resolute who certainly came good at Newbury the other day. And when he won there, I remember his jockey telling me that this race at Ayr was very much the big target. It's over a longer distance, but there's no uh, doubts in the mind of the connections that he will get the extra yardage. That's horse number nine, always resolute, four places with William Hill at 11 to two. Now the third and final bet, that runs at Bath. And again, William Hill are the firm to go for when taking a price about horse number 10, nods as good as a wink. Now this horse uh, has already done as one good turn when it popped in at six to one at Catrick. Today under a six pound penalty, it's a 13 to two shot with William Hill. You may remember the way it won that day. It was outpaced and then it came through like a whirlwind at the end to win going away. And although six pounds might seem a fairly big jump up, well, I think this filly has got room for more improvement. And the faster they go, the better she will finish at the end. Number 10, nods as good as a wink. That's the final leg, and that runs in the 4.40 at Bath. That's all for now, short and sweet. I'll be back at nine o'clock tomorrow, Saturday, to preview via video my very best bets in the Each Way Trixie for Saturday's racing. And until then, have a jolly good old Friday, and I'll speak to you soon.